Violence against women and girls is a complex and difficult issue and one which stirs up lots of feelings and often prompts people to take direct action. Today, here in Plymouth, a group of people will be walking through the city hoping to raise awareness. And I'm joined now by Elle, who is one of the organisers. Elle, just tell us why we're here today. OK, so today is the first day of the 16 days of activism. Um, and the 25th of every month is the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and Girls. So it's, it's quite apt that the first day that they've chosen for this amazing campaign is violence against women and girls. So as you can see behind us, we have a number of people that have come to support this. Basically, we want to try and eliminate gender-based violence from our city and coming together wearing orange, which is a colour that is vibrant and it, it, it tells us that we want this, this world without violence, a world of freedom. Events like this are always very colourful and, and vibrant, but do you think they can really make a difference? We've already shown that we've made a difference. We've already had some of these events in the past, and after the horrendous death of Bobby Ann, unfortunately that was two years ago this month, the VARG Commission and the Communications Group was, was started, and already we've got enhanced lighting, CCTV, and we've got information points. So coming together as a community to say, this is what we want in our city, listen to us, but doing it in a peaceful way. OK, uh, well, thanks for talking to us today. The march is starting soon, yeah. so we'll, we'll let you get back to it. Thank you. Well, the people here are planning to march down to Plymouth Ho, and then they're going to stop by the statue of Nancy Astor. She was the first Plymouth MP to take her seat in the Houses of Parliament, and everyone here will be hoping that conversation continues. Sam Blackledge, ITV News in Plymouth.